Hey guys, today we're going to paint a wake bait and we're going to paint it in a mouse pattern. This is going to be very simple, very easy, and we'll add a little bit of a twist at the end. Stick with me. Alright guys, here is our wake bait. And we'll go with the Createx Opaque White for our base as always. Just a nice even coat so all of our colors will come through. Not a lot of complication to this one. Alright, there we go. There's our base white. Now we'll move on. Alright, the first step will be the belly. And we're going to go pearlized white for the belly. As always, we'll just go about halfway up the lure. Just want a good pearlized coating on the bottom. Putting white on white, it's kind of a little bit difficult sometimes to see, at least for you, where I stop and where I start. But guaranteed the pearlized shows through. Alright, that's good enough. That'll do our pearlized belly. Alright, as I said, we're going to be looking for a mouse pattern here. So we're going to start out, I went to Walmart now, to the pewter gray. This is just a flat Walmart paint, uh, the matte, so it isn't shiny, like 50 cents a bottle. It's thick, so we had to mix it up, put some water in it. So I've got it thinned down, and we're just going to give everything on the back a coating of gray. We'll let it kind of drift down the side a little. There we go, we'll leave that white underbelly. we got the gray on top. Now we're going to make one slight change after this. Now, we're going to go back with the Walmart. This is burnt umber, or for us country guys, it's brown. So anyway, burnt umber. I thinned it down. I just used the same cup, kind of cleaned out the gray paint, thinned it down a little bit with the water. We're just going to just put a little bit of brown here and there. Now I'm not going to get fancy and try to make this thing really exactly like a mouse. I'm not into doing that. We're not going to worry about feet, ears, and hair. Uh, I figure bass ain't going to see that. I just care about the fish finding the lure and wanting to hit it. So we're just going to step way back here and lightly try to put a little bit of this burnt umber over the top of the gray. I want that gray to show through. But you'll see a little of the burnt umber there too. Alright, and let's shoot a little bit more. This may not show up as well for you on the cameras. We'll find out later. But I'm going to shoot a little bit more around that head, but before I do, I think I want to dry this real quick. Put the heat gun on that and dry that before I get in real close to the head. So hang on just a second. Alright, let's get in around that head. We'll put a little extra burn number near the head. More in the back, I think. There, we got a little more of that burnt number down the back, so that looks pretty good. All right, I'm going to leave it this way. Now, we're going to put in a pair of eyes and a top coat, but I got one other thing I want to do that makes this just a little bit different from the way I'd normally do uh, a wake bait. Well, there you go, guys. A wake bait in a mouse pattern, as you can see. I even added a tail. Now, for that situation, I put on a 3 aught worm hook on the back. I found some small 4-inch plastic worms. These happen to have a ring tail on them. I just popped the ring off real quick, made it for a straight tail. So, thanks for sticking with us. Subscribe to the channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.